Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with the uh, pyramid base here with the occupational upgrade. Done a few things off camera. Um, I, oh, I redid a lot of the wiring. So this is all heavy watt wire now. Before it was kind of a jumbled mess. And I replaced the regular one kilowatt wire with the two kilowatt conductive wire leading off two transformers here. So one's kind of powering our oil setup and the top one is pump is uh, covering everything else, our exosuits and these lights and our little cooking station up here. Now we have tons of food, 600,000 surplus food. All the fridges are full. As you can see here, this is my CO2 area, which might not be CO2 area much longer because the oxygen's kind of working its way down. But uh, I used to have polluted water in this little section right here where this aqua tuner was. And what this aqua tuner was doing was cooling the water that was in this tank. So basically I send in 95 degree water into this tank. And I've been putting ice and ice sculptures to try to cool all this down. And I only pump the hot water in if the temperature is below 35 degrees Celsius in this tank. So it's at 31 right now, so it's warming up. But we got a bit of a reserve here. And then that water I was taking out and pumping it to our grow room here. But it was too hot. So I used to have polluted water in this little area here to kind of keep the aqua tuner cool. And I was taking the clean hot water, 35 degrees, into here and taking off about 14 degrees. So that was a good temperature. The polluted water was getting up to about 40 degrees, which was fine, but I want to replace it with oil. So I've got a little uh, bottle emptier here. Some oil is going in there. And the oil is coming from way down here. So yeah, we got some cold oil. Might as well use it. I want to kind of remove all this oil so we can get in this room here. See what's in there. Hopefully it's an upgrade thing. So the dupes are working on that. Uh, it's a little bit slow, so they, they have to come down here and then down here. There's actually no oxygen in there. I could probably open this up, actually. And some oxygen will get down, some hydrogen will get up, and probably get stuck here. But I think that's okay. Let's see where that's going to flow. I think that's fine. So it's a bit slow and sometimes they drop it on the way. I've taken on a couple couple more dupes and in the jobs menu here, I've been uh, kind of leveling people up and moving them along. So whenever they hit 100% like Nicola here, I stick them in something else like uh, we'll upgrade him. So I'm trying to cycle all the dupes through all the professions. And they're coming, they're becoming like super dupes. Some of them are really fast, like this one right here, Ada. She has uh, Athletics 20. I think they're capped at 20, no matter what their other skills are. But eventually she'll get, like, really high stats and everything. Oxygen's been good. Oh, I just realized we got a loop here that it failed experiment. I was trying to send some over here, but it, it wasn't working. So we got two main lines of oxygen kind of feeding the right side and left side of the base. It's taken a while to fill up these exosuits, but that's fine. We're not doing much down in the oil biome anyway. So the oxygen's coming from over here, as I kind of talked about last time. Oh, so before it was just this one setup, but I've duplicated it down here. And it's been generally staying pretty warm, I mean, pretty cool. So it's like minus uh, 13 in here. And we're getting we're getting polluted water from down here. Actually, I actually have a space heater because it started to freeze solid. Pumping up polluted water, putting it into a filter, and then sending that clean water into our oxygen generation. Uh, I also have a, I put in a auto sweeper here. So it's a, uh, what is it doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to explain another thing before I explain that. So down here, 
in our fertilizer room, I used a uh, a creature trap plus a creature relocator. So I put a couple of cre creature relocators on here, one on each floor, and I moved a hatch onto each floor. So they're in there munching away on the fertilizer, which is being made, which we're not really using. And they're outputting coal. And then this uh, auto sweeper is grabbing the coal, loading it into this uh, conveyor loader. Let's look at that. Conveyor loader, and then it's going along here in these little buckets. All the way over here. Half of it's going down here, which I'll explain in a second, and half of it's coming up here to feed these coal generators automatically. So it's in range of both of these, so whenever these need coal, it can do it automatically. It doesn't really need uh, any dupes anymore. The poor dupes have no jobs anymore. There's plenty for them to do, though. It's a bit of a mess here I want to mop up. Um, and the other thing that's going on, I set up this room. Now, how the heck did, get, did these guys get over here? I think they went around. Oh, that's no good. I'll have to relocate them. Actually, this should be getting filled up by this. Hmm. So this auto sweeper, it grabs the coal from our coal line. Keeps this coal generator fed. I had to kickstart it with a manual generator here, but that's no longer needed. And I used to have all the puffs. I, re I relocated them here. They all were attracted and I put this wall up. But I guess they've gone down and around. Because there was maybe more polluted oxygen over here. So I have to entice them back over here and then maybe seal make a wall here so they so they can't get back now the slime that's falling is being picked up by this auto sweeper put in an algae distiller and making algae for us which is cool and then any kind of extra slime that is missed this hatch is eating i think hatches eat slime i'm not 100 percent sure they're certainly eating all the junk that was in this room though so what i'm gonna have to do is probably build a ladder here and a wall uh, igneous rock is fine so we'll seal that in and then we'll get this fed now this was being fed from this auto sweeper but it doesn't seem to be working anymore so we'll just make a little Oh, uh, we need... I'll use ladders. There we go. Make this priority seven. We don't really want anyone going in that room. Oh, and I don't think they're even allowed in here. Because it's so full of germs, so we'll... Actually, we don't want to let everyone in or they're going to come in and pick all this slime up. So let's just let... Ada in. Oh, here she comes. So hopefully she, hopefully she builds that. No, she's picking up slime. Like a dum-dum. How many germs are in here? Uh, Not too many. It's not too bad. Now, can she even build stuff? She is able to. Let's make this priority nine. Why is she picking up slime? That's weird. And let's let a couple people in. Maybe not soup sandwich. Maybe Bert. Get them to build that. Fill that. We gotta entice them back over. Now I've been um, adding comfy beds. Kind of as I had the plastic. And I think we have a comfy bed for everyone now. Oh no, there's still three normal ones. Gotta put in some more bedrooms. Gotta figure out where I want to do that. I could put some bedrooms over here. It's a bit warm right here, but I th 39 degrees. Oh, there's this thing here. Can't really do a bedroom there. We could put a tiny one here. Hmm. We're down to 533,000 food. Oh yeah, and I build, I've been building this giant pile of stuff on the ground here. So what I do is allow all except for liquefiable. It all drops on the floor. And this is our big dumping ground. So like most of the materials are here. 
Everything that we're sweeping up is going there. Should probably sweep up this area. It's full of junk. Same with here. We're not using up all our natural gas. This is getting overpressurized. Because everything is on a smart battery system. So when these batteries reach around 30%, that's only when the power's on. So right now the power's not on. Oh, it's just turned on. So this system's working really well. It barely uses any energy at all. We can see the draw. It's uh, power produces zero right now, but consumed is roughly around two. Three is the max. I also put an auto sweeper here and it's picking up the plastic off the ground. Maybe we can see it in action here. Yep, yeah, picks it up, goes on the conveyor, comes along here. Another auto sweeper sticks it in a box. And we're actually getting full of plastic here. Maybe I should replace these ladders with uh, plastic ladders. That would be good. I think I might actually do that now. Okay, let's take out this ladder. I still have this other one, the backup ladder. Make this a six so they actually do it. Oh, they're doing it. Maybe I don't have to do a six. And we'll replace that with plastic. We still have our hatch munching away here. Let's see if he has any food left. Uh, nope. So we're gonna put we're gonna put igneous rock in here. And then once this fills up with igneous rock, I'll dump it on the ground and the hatch can eat it. This is mainly where I'm getting rid of igneous rock and other useless materials. So let's just see raw minerals. We have. thousand tons of it. I should probably sweep this area. Stuff keeps melting here and getting in the way. So this water is almost gone. Now if a hatch could survive this cold, I'd put one in there. Because we've got this polluted dirt here. But we have a compost, so it is getting dealt with. And I do have hydrogen going up here. So this thing's been getting colder and colder and colder. It's at minus 80 now. And that's just cooling down this whole area. I think it's it's not quite spreading down, but we might actually use this for something. I could probably cool some water with it, actually. Eventually, we're going to run out of this polluted water. Uh, I can probably tap in here. Get this packet, get this packet, but eventually we'll run out and I'll have to bring hot water over for oxygen production. I did use a series of ladders kind of like this to dig out all this corner. Same with this corner piece and this part up here. Because I want to make it actually look like a pyramid. It's kind of, let's zoom out here with Alt S. I should probably extend it down down to this area. Got a lot of stuff in the way here, a lot of germs and nastiness. Oh, look how slow, uh, who is this? Ellie, Ellie's one of our new ones. She's so slow. Now we have lots of oxygen. I think it's actually backing up. No, let's get rid of that. I've got this old oxygen line here I should probably get rid of. But we might use it in the future, so maybe I'll leave it there. It's not really hurting anything. Where is all this water coming from? How's our oil? The oil is slowly building up in here. We could probably even turn this thing on, but I want to wait until I have a couple tiles before I turn it on. It's nice and cool. I might have to set up some kind of system where the once the oil gets too hot, I pump it out, I destroy it down here and then I pump cold oil back in from somewhere maybe we'll stockpile some oil in a ice biome or something oh I also put in some pinch of peppers so there's a tiny little farm room here Could open these doors quite a few of them growing and we're using those for stuffed berries up here which is an even better food for them 
So at the cooking station, we have stuffed berry as the default, and then the backup is crystal berry. We've got 100,000 stuffed berry packed away. I could probably put in a second cooking station to speed up the food production. Don't know if that'll help anything, but we got room. I think we got power on this line. 1.8 kilowatts, yep, just barely. See some conductive wire. Oh, this is done. So let's dump the igneous rock. And there they'll go eating up the, eating it up. I probably should be turning some of it into sand because sand is finite. Should we sweep this up? Sure. Let's also mop it up. Where's this water coming from? Oh yeah, up here. Oh, we got chlorine in here. It's so cold. Minus 36. Wow. We got this thing here. We're not using it. Could be using it. And we got a whole geyser I haven't even tapped into yet. Because I don't really need it just yet. What I should do is dump it in this cold biome. Start melting the whole thing. I might actually do that. Not, not very valuable work to do. But we, we need oxygen here pretty badly. This is just full of hydrogen. Is there any food in this thing? Huh. Could make a tank right here. Since we're kind of running out of projects, I think I'll make a little tank. Right here. Like that, and like this. Put a ladder in there. Gonna need to dig all this out. Let's get them to dig out the bottom first. What priority did I do that? Oh, eight's probably too high. Let's do seven. There's no oxygen in here, so they're gonna be holding their breath. Maybe I'll put some temporary power here and get some oxygen going. So we'll do this and a smart battery. And an algae deoxidizer. Since, since we have algae, right? 17 tons and we're making more with slime, so that's eight, that's good. That'll pump this area full of oxygen so they can breathe. There's some over here, so they can breathe on the way. Okay, how's food? 475. We're running low. This is slowly filling up. Maybe I should turn it on and see what happens. Oh, the thermal switch is not in the right place. Actually, it doesn't matter. As long as the air temp. Okay, below 30. Let's see what happens here. So we're at... The oil's at 19 degrees. Oh yeah, it's heating up really fast. Wow. Well, it has to saturate this line first. Once it's completely saturated, I think it won't run as much. It won't get as hot. We probably have too much growing. I could probably take out all these hydroponics and we'd be fine. It's gonna shut itself off at 30 anyway, so that, that'll regulate itself. How's the water in here? 34. It's coming out at 12. Oh yeah, that's nice and nice and cool. Could probably build some more ice blocks here. Not priority eight though. This could be six. These wheeze wars aren't really doing much for us. I thought they would cool down this area pretty well, but they're just not powerful enough to take out these ladders.
I also added paintings here because <laughs> they run through here quite a bit. What the heck? Ada. Oh, Ada's the one who was going in that... She's still going in there, I bet. Oh, no. Okay, Ada, you're not allowed in there anymore. Because that's Nastyville. Hopefully Ada recovers. Actually, let's get Ada to eat a... Whatchamacallit? A chew. Vitamin chew. Ada, you can eat those. You can eat a placebo too if you want. And I think we have some somewhere. So we're gonna need a bisolite pipe for that. Priority five. We'll dump it right here. And actually, I should put it on a valve so we're not so we can turn it off when it gets too hot. These are make work projects, folks. Or I could use a liquid shut off. Hmm. Shut it off when it's too warm. For now, I'll just do it manually. Fill this up. And just let it... Oh, we could send hydrogen to this thing. Use some conductive plates and just cool this right down. Now why are they grabbing... 137 grams of ice at a time? What are these guys doing? 75 grams of ice. And I think you've dropped it already. What the hell are they doing? So I guess it wasn't a bug. It was what was happening was the water was dribbling down, freezing, and they were trying to pick it up and bring it to these containers. So I just removed, made it so they couldn't put it in these containers. And that seems to have fixed it. Let's get our bulk containers full again. And how are these hatches doing for food? They are full again, as in hungry. More igneous rock for you. Okay, no one actually came and put slime in here. Come on. Okay, we got them all over there. Um, but we've locked everyone out of here. So this will just build up algae over time. In theory. Oh, forgot to re-enable this. <laughs> so yeah, that'll very slowly fill up with algae. We got 390 kilograms in there, which is hardly anything. It's kind of a... This whole operation is probably... Not a great idea. But anyway. I thought it would be fun to build. And we're not taking on any more duplicates. Disable that. Not yet, at least. We gotta get the water cooling situation under control. I wonder when this ice will melt. <laughs> Hypothermia. Oh, they just finished building all this. Oh, not quite. Oh yeah, there's no power. Oh yeah, I gotta hook up the power for this. Okay, so power. Let's do it priority six. Uh, we'll come through here and up here and over here. And start pumping that hot water in here. Oh, we haven't been sending oxygen all this time because I forgot to set my filter output. Fix that. There we go. Hopefully we didn't deplete the base of oxygen. 
Oh no, one line is like enough. Now, do we need these showers going? Probably not. Showers. The only use of showers is to create polluted water. Because they're grimy debuff. It doesn't do anything. Maybe someday it'll fix that. Kind of, kind of got this tube going. Let's fill in the gaps here. Oh, this arm is in the way. Sweeper. I'm gonna have to move this auto sweeper over one tile. Okay, what's going on here? No, oh, no fertilization. Oh, do we have any phosphorite? 98 tons. Oh, yeah, we got lots. Oh, so they weren't really working on this because there was no oxygen going to the to the exosuits, but now it is. I'm gonna cut off this vent here and use this. Stick it right here instead. I think that'll work better. That way we'll have more oxygen going straight through to our exosuits. Don't have enough water going through. We could probably actually send 28 degree water through, but I don't want to because it's going to warm up the room. It's nice and chilly in there, though. Maybe I should grow some mushrooms instead. I don't think they're very good food, though. And let's dig out some of this slime. I've been wanting to get rid of this for a while. I probably have to build ladders to get it all. Actually, let's do this. Take one row off. Let them process it, and then we'll do the next row. Get some algae out of it. Let's put our auto sweeper back. Where was that? That was right here. Now, the auto sweepers are working through walls. I realized that when I was setting things up. I think that's a bug based on what they said in the live stream a while back. And we need a little station for them to jump into this tube. Could put that right here or right here. I think I'll put it right here. Where is that thing? Tube access. Stick it right there. Take this wheeze ward out. Oh, we already did. Let's set that priority higher so it actually gets done. This is in the way.
Now we can jet them out right here, I guess. Now I don't know if we can go through sinks or not. I haven't built enough of these things. No, no, no. <laughs> can we go like this? No. That stuff's in the way. Hmm. We can move the sinks. We can move that wash dish station. It's not doing anything. And dump them right here, I think. Now, is that enough room? I think it is for them to dump right here. No landing available. Well, it's not built yet. And we gotta hook this piece up. And we need power. How much power is on this line? Hmm, that would overload it. So we need a third transformer. This battery is doing nothing. Let's get rid of that. Look at his little suit. He's all messed up. Okay, transformer. I also use heavy watt conductive wire, the nicer stuff. And then conductive wire. We don't really need conduct. Oh, yeah, we don't need conductive wire for this one thing. But later on, we might want to upgrade it. So, let's actually. We have it. Let's use it down here and we need a conductive wire bridge there and that's unreachable Oh, you know what we should do? We should put... Yeah, we should put an airflow tile right here. And the polluted oxygen will... Maybe go in there? Actually, that's a bad idea. Because the slime is just going to make pollute more, more polluted oxygen. This puffed isn't really doing much for us. Eleven jobs mastered. Haha. <laughs> Oh, look how slow Liam is. Okay, no one is building this. Oh, here they go. Okay, let's check on our thing up here. Oh, it's working. 56 degrees, I like that. Now, is it pumping? Why is it not pumping? What is going on? Do I have the valve set at zero? No. Something is wrong. Oh, there it goes. 95 degrees down to 60. And it'll continue to cool in there. Oh, it's got this air barrier. Because of this... <laughs> Airflow tile. Hmm. I should have used metal tile. I've made this mistake before. Let's build metal tile on top. And then we'll replace the airflow and hopefully the metal tile is strong. Then the, uh, then the heat will conduct out. Also put in some shift plates. 
We have uh, quite a bit of diamond. 8,000. What can we spare? We can use granite. Not priority nine though. That's a little bit too much. There we go. Now, now look at that heat conduct. That's gonna melt this whole ice biome. Just good. Good, 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 good. And someday when we need cold water, we'll come here and it'll be ready for us. In fact, we could send it through a Wolframite pipe all the way down here. Oh, why don't I do that? That would make way more sense. Yeah, Wolframite pipe all the way down through the cold biomes into our hot water tank. <laughs> I won't do that this episode, but I th I'm thinking I'm going to do that. That would make a whole a lot of sense. It would cool down all the way. Yeah, build it along here. Squirt it in here. How's this oil? 34. How's our food? It has no water. <laughs> That's okay, we still have a reserve. Not an emergency yet. I guess we'll let this go up to 40. Okay, is our tube working? It is operational. Let's see if anyone uses it. Oh, oh. Let's see Lyria take it back up. There she goes. Yay. Perfect. I feel like I have succeeded in this episode now that I have one tube built. We could certainly build more though. Did they ever finish this dig down here? Uh, they're kind of working on it. It's diamond, it's going to take a while. I think I'm going to wrap this episode up though. It's probably getting a bit long. I do want to make, uh, can extend the pyramid down. Probably down to here, this corner here. In fact, we have a bunch of stuff here, so the bottom of the pyramid could be this row. Which would take us out to about here. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to come all the way down here. That would look cool though, if we could finish that. All the way down here, down to about this corner. Get in here, get this natural gas. That would leave a lot of room for bedrooms. A lot of room. <laughs> but this base is far from being done, I think. I'm pleased how it's kind of shaping up though. We're, we're 30 hours in, almost 400 cycles. Cooling may become an issue with that. Uh... Actually, if I build that Wolframite pipe to deliver cold water, I think we'll be fine. It might freeze on the way down, though. That would be an issue. I don't think it will, though. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these videos, if you haven't subscribed already. If you have, thank you for subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.